There was some more breaking news in the last few hours, Ed. It probably involves you indirectly. Port Adelaide Chairman David Koch went on 5AA and talked about the prison bar jumper. Here he is. Oh, really? Part of that deal, we could apply it to wear it at any games of heritage significance. Because remember back then, there were heritage rounds and we were allowed to wear it in, the agreement says, in the heritage rounds. Now, the fact they got rid of official heritage rounds, in my opinion, this is only my personal opinion, I think should allow us to wear it in showdowns because showdowns have such significant heritage value for South Australian football. And that's what I will be discussing with the AFL when we uh, talk to them about wearing it in the showdown next year. So that was, da <laughs> that was David Koch. Ed, no, be serious. This is a genuine story. David Koch, oh, well, you've got a few so laughs, boring. so well done. This is David so Koch and Keith Thomas are going to take this conversation to Gillan McLaughlin and Richard Goyd. Oh. They want to wear, obviously, you've given them permission to wear the prison bar in their 150th year. They want to wear it again next year because then there'll be crowds at the game. They will submit that they should then be allowed to wear it yeah. only in South Australia and only in showdowns and that that shouldn't affect any other club. Will yeah. you allow them to do that? Caroline, can I just say If this? the AFL allow them to do it, what will Collingwood's response be? Keith Thomas knows the response because Keith came over with Cos Cardone, who's actually the CEO of Maguire Media, of GMTV. So and a, a Port Adelaide director. He's a Port Adelaide director. Clearly conflicted. <laughs> no, he, he had no conflict at all. He was fighting hard for Port Adelaide. They sat down with us. We went through their entry into the AFL competition. We went through the contract that they signed right in the middle of all this stuff when they were trying to jettison the magpie, OK? And I'll show you the jumpers. Don't roll them just yet. I'll just take you through. They, and they, we have they wear it in their reserves team wears the magpie jumper. Yeah, that's right. And, and they're in the sand. And, and, and they're looking right. to keep that team that's next right. year. And, yep. and we wish them all the best. In fact, when they were trying to rub them out of existence, Collingwood offered to sponsor the South Australian sand for magpies. Okay? Why, why won't Adelaide you magpies. let them just wear just it for a showdown? Hold on. Hold on, Kara. OK? So what happens is they come over... And every single time the Port Adelaide has asked that this is a special of occasion, we've said yes. Even when they played a, a final against Richmond, which really had no reason, but they said, oh, OK. So they come, and I don't want to buy into this because, you know, Port Adelaide is celebrating their 150th anniversary. They're a mighty club, and we wish them all the best. So I don't want to go into this again and again because we have handshake agreements, we have contracts, we have trademark agreements. The AFL own the trademark. The AFL have said, this is it. So what annoys me, and where I think David is being so disingenuous to his own supporters, is he goes on South Australian radio or TV and he fizzes them up. The magpie is Collingwood magpie, and that's that. They don't want the magpie. No, they just want no, the but, prison but bar. Caro, I'll, I'll tell you what. Next time you go, have a look at all their merchandise. It's got magpie all over them. It's got black and white. If we roll some training, I'll find some training from tonight. And, and we'll roll this, right? So this was when they first decided to get out of Collingwood or black and white altogether. That's their old magenta jumper. The one that Cane Corns had, they paid, they got a sponsorship. You take the money, you give up any rights to the heritage. That's the magenta jumper there. This is what they've worn this since they've been in the AFL. So they change all the time. Well, the, most, clubs, the one up, most clubs that have that many jumpers. Okay, but see the one up North the top. Melbourne would have, would have, have we got the picture of what they're jumpers. going to wear this year? So my point is this, Caro. There are major things when you have an identity. Right? and it's your trademark. And Collingwood's is the magpie and the black magpie. This is what they're going to wear this year, and good luck to them. Right? They've got the one that's... Most sort of clubs a... would have three different jumpers. Yeah, well, we don't, so it's yeah, of that... significance to us. So, Ed, what you're saying is David's fizzed the supporters up tonight, but there's no chance at all that they'll be wearing David it. doesn't have the guts to tell his supporters that it's finished. Yeah. OK? Now, when they tried to run the magpie out of town, we came in to support them. Now, David, to his credit, has always been a strong supporter of the magpie. You're not and you can't... So the AFL hotel. can't approve this? No, they can't. They can't. Well, they can. Well, they can if they want to go to court. If they want to, have a, if they want to go... If they don't do... If the AFL Commission doesn't do what it's there for, i.e. protect its clubs yeah. and its trademarks, then they're going to really yeah. get into some... I thought it was business. Scott Sowell in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> I thought it was like yeah. a I mean, it, the bottom line is, they're a great club. Enjoy it. David, why bring this up the week before? We're all going to get back. You've got a showdown. It's your 150th birthday, mate. Relax. Any time you've ever asked on a special occasion, we've always said that, yes. And that, you know, they don't, they, now, they don't want gonna... to ask. They just want yeah, it for well, showdowns. Yeah. Anyway, let's Caroline, move on. If you, if you sign a contract three times and shake hands, you know, the shaking the hands is enough for me. 
But let, you let, have to roll the contract up and whack him over the head with war, it both And if that happens, well, we'll get the bloke with a horsehair wig to decide. Let's move on to someone who wore both the Jackson, Collingwood right. jumper. Who is a and Sam, with great distinction. I just don't want to get into a boil. The Port Adelaide jumper. Ed, we're moving on, please. You know, mate, come on. Let's...